Welcome to today's video, where I would like to present to you a new potential use case for ChatGPT in project management. And what I'm gonna be sharing with you is just one of the latest ways that I've been exploring the tool. And I hope that it inspires you to start, get started using ChatGPT if you haven't done so already, or just gives you some ideas as to how you can refine your uh, results further uh, to better serve you as a project manager. Now, before I begin, I do just want to quickly preface the video by mentioning that I will be using the GPT-4 model. And at time of recording, this is part of the paid plan. So do consider that. So if you did want to use ChatGPT and you don't want to pay uh, any, mo any money for the monthly plan, then you can do this using the 3.5 legacy model. But as you will see, if I kind of hover over each one, the results may be slightly different. ChatGPT4 does give superior results. So I just want to mention that because you might not get the kind of quality of results that I'm going to get from these prompts. Now, lastly, and I will dive straight into these prompts, do keep watching because I'm going to show you how to refine the prompts further and how to get better output. And that's what I've found with ChatGPT is that the initial prompts, uh, while they can produce great results, the more you can refine refine your future prompts, the better the end result is. And I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through that as we go along. So let's begin with the first prompt. So create a communi communication management plan. And that's the artifact that we're creating in today's video. So create a communication management plan in tabular form. Now, I just want to point out that this bit here is absolutely crucial. If we didn't put this in here, we would get a result that's very, very text-based. And for the most part, I'm of the understanding and, and in my experience, a communication management plan is best in tabular form. So that's why I've entered that here. And I just want to draw attention to it because the more, the more you can kind of specify uh, specific things to ChatGPT, the better your result. So I'm going to hit enter and let's see what uh, ChatGPT4 now produces. Just while this um, kind of goes, um, or generates, I should say, um, I will be adding some future prompts shortly. And that's what we're gonna be, that, you know, it's worth waiting for, but wait, I'll, I'll let it finish, and then we can kind of talk about what it's produced here. And and for the, fir you know, fir first and foremost, we can see that it has, it has given us our request. So it is in tabular form, and that's great, because now we can export this to, Microsoft Excel or an equivalent um, tool and actually start working on this outside of ChatGPT, which I'm sure is something that you're going to want to do. But let's actually have a look at the first few items that's kind of been, been provided to us. So we've got one from the project team and it's mentioning how we need to give project updates and they should be, you know, every week. And the responsible party is the project manager. So if you're not introducing uh, project up updates as a project manager, then obviously uh, something has gone a little bit wrong, but that's something that you should be producing, but it does give you that kind of insight. We've also got other items for the project manager here about how they should update the executive team and also how um, there's also another one at the bottom here about how the finance department should be given budget updates. So as I say, these prompts, they're not just good for kind of creating the artifact, but for giving you ideas into some of the tasks and responsibilities that you should be doing if you're not already, or just give you some ideas as to some of the uh, stakeholders that you may need to start li liaising with. So that's, the, that's the, the very first basic communication plan. Now we can refine this further. So we could actually say, add a column for, and then you can open quotation marks. So we've got stakeholder, we've got communication needs, communication method, frequency, responsible party, we could, and, and a notes, an area for, for additional notes. But if we wanted an additional, an additional column for whatever reason, we could then put that in here. So let's just say status. So add a column for status. And we'll put to the table, because the more specific you are, typically the better result you get. What you can though do is if you're not getting the result you like, you can stop generating, um, and you can kind of edit it um, to, and ask the tool again. And what it will then do is kind of go through the prompt and try and give you the result you're looking for. Alternatively, you can let it finish, which obviously takes some time. And then you could say something like, um, please 
revise the previous prompt with a focus on and just, just tell it, you know, it's, it's not what I was looking for. Can you please rerun the, the prompt and ChatGPT will do that. So as we can see here, we've got a status here. We've got the status as we've, as we've asked it for. And what I like about this is how it's kind of moved it inward. It's not just added it to the end. It's kind of moved it in some way that kind of makes sense. Uh, and it's also given us some options as well. So ongoing, pending. So this is th this is great. Obviously status is probably not the best example for a communications management plan, but you get the idea here. So this is the kind of prompt that you can use. Obviously you can just change the word status to whatever you want to add. Um, now I'm gonna stop generating because you know time is of the essence. You could even do, ask it a prompt like this. Please move, I'm always going to always say please, always be polite to these tools. Please move the responsible party to the first column in the table. That's another prompt we could do here. So, so you see what I'm doing here? I'm refining, I'm refining the results based on what it's already provided me. And as you can see, it's done exactly what I've asked it. And so this is just a really, really quick way of kind of getting an artifact kind of created, updating it, and just making sure it is kind of fit for purpose. So I'm not gonna let this run the whole way. Let's just let it run the first row and then I'll stop generating. And then I'm gonna show you another prompt, which is kind of really, really useful. So I'll, let, let that, I'll stop that here. So what you can do, at the start, I asked it to create a management plan in tabular form. Very, very useful. But what you could do, and I'll just control C and control V there just to copy and paste it. Create a communication management plan in tabular form for a software project. Now I'm adding this as an additional prompt to an existing chat, but it probably is actually best to do this in a new chat. And I'm actually gonna do that because we want, a, we want to go from a start from a fresh. We don't want it to kind of include anything it's provided before. So let's hit this. And of course, software project, that could be anything that you are working on in particular. It could be a particular type of project. It could be your industry, or it could be a client. You know, it could be f for a, uh, I don't know, a finance client. You get the idea. What I'm trying to illustrate here is that this can be changed and that it may be something you need to do. But as you can see here, by adding the software project, interestingly, we've got a new column, confidentiality level, which, you know, is not something that um, I perhaps would have thought of including. But as you can see here, let's see how it kind of update so development team so that's quite interesting because that's obviously very very bespoke for a software project qa team again very very important and it's it's updated the communication needs so we've got like bugs and testing the status and the features product owners so it's really really good how it's and you've got sprint reviews here so it's really really good at uh, kind of adapting um, based on the bespoke requirements so yeah make sure you you add add these, these kind of qualifiers as well so be sure to do that depending on the kind of industry or, or project you're working on. So that's that's that one. Now, before we finish, I want to show you this final prompt, which is where you can kind of take it much further. And this is really, really useful. So if we just have a look at this, so the project manager is responsible for a project status and they're going to be producing an email every day or every week. Well, you know, that takes time to write. So why don't we ask ChatGPT to do it for us? So create a, let's use the exact terminology, a project status report email for the, um, let's say, he's saying the responsibility of the team lead and uh, the stakeholders project manager. I'd, I would say that's, we, that should be, create a project status report email for the team lead for the team leads. So it should come from the project manager. So create a project status support email. So there's a bit of a mistake there, I'd actually say perhaps, but create a project status support email for the team leads from the project manager. What else could we add here? Create a project status support email for the team leads from the project manager. Let's go with that. We could, you could probably adapt this further. You could probably add more, more information, but let's just see what it does. Um, I'm actually gonna put, Let's, no, let, let's do it actually. Create the first instalment of a weekly. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm just adding extra information. I'm giving the tool more information to give us a result that we may need. So of course, this could be something like the second instalment, third, fourth, etc. It could be a recurring instalment. You could put, you know, on a daily daily project status report. So you get the idea, but let's just hit this just to show you what, what can be produced. So look, here we go. All 
to begin with, we've actually got the email heading, which is great. You know, you could just put this in the in the subject line. So software project, and it's taken into account, it's a software project, which we gave it at the start. And this is what I'm talking about, how ChatGPT builds off existing uh, inputs as well. It's given us the week, week ending, really, really interesting. Dear team leads, I hope this message finds you well. This is the first weekly project status report. So you can see from the first sentences, it is literally um, taking into account exactly what I've asked it. And it's building on those previous prompts, which is absolutely fantastic. So it's given this introduction and then it's given us the project status overview. And it's given us this uh, um, formatting as well. You know, we've got the bolded sections and, and you can kind of work from this. You could you could enter future prompts, you know, to expand it further. So please give me a completed tasks table. And then you could start updating that going forward. You could say, ask it for an ongoing task table. You get the idea. Or you could say, please put the project status overview in tabular form. Or please, you know, this is what I'm trying to get at is the more you ask ChatGPT, the more you refine it, the better your results will be. So this is a really, really good kind of use case for building out your communications plan and taking it to the next level. You could, of course, then say, I've just shown you that one. We could say, please create a meeting invite um, agenda for the project status meetings. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm taking the next one and I'm, but you, what I'm trying to show you is how you can use ChatGPT to kind of create your communications for various different uh, processes. So we first had emails, then we had the meetings, um, and it's actually talked about project management software in here as well, which is really, really interesting. It's just another kind of area to, to explore. Uh, we could ask it to create things like a risk log, an issues log, change log, you know, future artifacts that kind of st uh, stem from this and that are gonna be included in this communication plan. Um, and yeah, there's, you know, got daily stand-up meetings. You could even ask, you know, what, what to include in my daily stand-up meeting? Uh, maybe you're confused about something it suggests, you know, Scrum Master, what is a Scrum Master? You could ask it that. So ChatGPT, it's all about exploring the tool, adding future prompts. And I hope that this video has given you some either inspiration to start using ChatGPT or exploring its capabilities, or also just give you another potential idea of how to work with the tool. So obviously the, the theme of this video is communication management plans, but it may be that you use this for another artifact or another process in your project management uh, role. And for that, I do have loads of other videos on using ChatGPT in project management, along with a host of other videos as well. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. That tells me I should continue recording videos like this. And just mentioning those videos there, do consider heading over to my channel uh, if you want to check out some of those aforementioned videos or any others. So I've got some on just different project management methodologies, tools, artifacts, etc. So it's all worth checking out. And of course, subscribing to the channel is always a good idea. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.